I had symptoms long before I was ever diagnosed. Um, things got worse for me in the, the early 90s. So my first diagnosis was in 1995. Um, my most accurate diagnosis was in 2015. They had difficulties just uh, diagnosing me because I didn't fit neat, neatly into just like one category or, well, at least my experience with mental health, it's, you don't always, you can't go down the, what is it, DSM uh, book and neatly uh, always fit into a category. It's nice if you can, but <laughs> it doesn't always work that way. So, and I've figured out too, I mean, I had to, you know, try different doctors and different things just to finally get where I'm at. I see myself a little bit differently than I did before, because a lot of times um, before I was diagnosed, um, I was having the symptoms, but I didn't really understand them or what was happening or how to control them. Where after diagnosis, um, I'm able, you know, to come up with new skills, to be able to cope with what's happening to me. Um, I better know what is happening to me, like if I get triggered, um, why and what to do. As before, I just knew I was getting triggered and I didn't know why or how to cope with it. Um, so that part um, with being diagnosed has really been helpful. Yeah, and before my most recent diagnosis too, I was getting triggered, but I didn't understand why or how I was being triggered. Um, so now knowing what's happening, it's easier for me to um, have coping skills or figure out what I need to do to make myself safe and comfortable. Right now, I'm, I'm doing much better uh, than I was. Um, <clears throat> I still do a lot of therapy, um, like art therapy. I've done uh, EMDR, uh, equine therapy. I've taken DBT classes, which for me were really helpful um, to manage, better manage things and better communicate. Um, and I just recently started at Frontier House, uh, which for me is a safe environment to be able to interact with people where I don't necessarily need to plan so far ahead as to figure out what I need to do to cope with the situation. Um, so that's been nice. Um, so my advice to other people that are, are being diagnosed is just to keep trying, try different therapies, try different therapists. Um, there's, I still learning after all these years of new therapies and um, of course, uh, also too, for me, at least from my experience, the mental health uh, avenues that you can take have improved over the years. There's a lot more now than there were in the 90s. Um, so yeah, you just got to try different things. And also to remember that uh, self-care is not selfish, which is not always easy to remember. 